Welcome students. In this question, we are asked to find the value of x given that 49 raised to the power x positive 14 raised to the power x is equal to 4 raised to the power x. Now, I'm going to be rewriting this equation by dividing 49 over x throughout. So this is going to be 49 raised to the power x divided by 49 raised to the power x positive 14 over x divided by 49 raised to the power x is equal to 4 power x divided by 49 raised to the power x. Now clearly this can be cancelled giving me one positive. Now 14 over 49 raised to the power x this can be written like this. This is equal to 4 over 49 raised to the power x. So I'm just doing some basic calculations or I would say basic alignments. Now 14 over 49 I'm going to write it as 7 multiplied by 2 right 7 times 2 is 14 and 49 is going to be 7 multiplied over 7. So this is raised to the power x of course I've got a 1 here. This 4 I'm going to write it as 2 squared and 49 I'm going to write it as 7 squared. So let it be written like that. Now there is a formula. It says that a b raised to the power m is equal to a raised to the power m times b raised to the power m. So using that formula, what I'm going to do is, in fact, I can simply cancel the 7 here instead of going to that formula. So 7 and 7 can be cancelled, giving me 1 positive 2 over 7 raised to the power x. Now if you want to use this formula, still actually 7 times 2 divided by 7 times 7 raised to the power x can be rewritten as 7 raised to the power x times 2 raised to the power x divided by 7 raised to the power x divided uh, multiplied with 7 raised to the power x right so still i would be obtaining the same 2 over 7 raised to the power x now there's another formula which says that a raised to the power m raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m times n now why am I using this formula? Because I want to rewrite 2 squared divided by 7 squared raised to the power x to be as 2 over 7 raised to the power 2 and that is raised to the power x. So this can be rewritten as 2 over 7 raised to the power of 2x. Right? I can always write it in that fashion. But anyway, we can write this like 2 over 7 raised to the power 2 raised to the power x. So let me just have it like that as, as one of the steps. So this is going to be a step. Now I want to use a certain substitution. So let me rewrite the step as 2 over 7 raised to the power x. The entire component is raised to the power 2 because of the fact that a raised to the power m raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power n raised to the power m. So I can very well do that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a small substitution. So I'm going to say let 2 over 7 raised to the power x be equal to some u. So if I were to take this as 1 therefore I can rewrite 1 as 1 positive u is equal to u raised to the power 2. Now this can be further rewritten as u squared negative u negative 1 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic in u, right? So we can use the popular quadratic formula which is going to be negative b plus or minus root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2 times a where my a is equal to 1, my b is equal to negative 1 and my c is equal to negative 1. So if I substitute this formula this is going to be negative of negative 1 plus or minus root of negative 1 squared negative 4 times a is 1 and c is negative 1 divided by 2 times of a. So this is equal to, let me use the space here. So this is going to be equal to 
positive 1 plus or minus root of negative 1 squared is going to be 1 negative negative positive 4 divided by 2 this is going to be equal to 1 positive root of 5 divided by 2 of course there's a negative sign is also there but this is my u but my u is 2 over 7 raised to the power x so this would mean I'm taking the positive value first so 2 over 7 raised to the power x is equal to 1 positive root of 5 divided by 2 now if I were to take ln both sides so what would happen so this is going to be ln of 2 over 7 raised to the power x is equal to ln of 1 positive root of 5 divided by 2 now from here I, I can use the formula ln of a power b is equal to b times ln a so by this formula x times ln of 2 over 7 is equal to ln of 1 positive root of 5 over 2 I can do that now this is equal to I can push the ln down so this is going to be ln of 1 positive root of 5 over 2 divided by ln of 2 over 7 now you can evaluate this component first so let me do that so this is going to be 1 positive 2.23 which is going to be 3.23 so that is divided by 2 so that's going to be 1.6 so this is what I will get for 1 point root of 5 divided by 2 so this is equal to ln of 1.625 now 2 divided by 7 that's going to be ln of 0 0.2857 now I need to find out the ln of this this is going to give me 0 0.4855 negative 1.2528 that is going to give me x is equal to negative 0. 3875 so I can conclude that X is approximately equal to negative 0.3875 so that is how we find out the value of X apparently we wouldn't be able to resolve for one negative root of I over 2 because this would give me a negative value